Founders Floor, a co-working accelerator for startups. But he went and did a bad job of splitting the equity, and that could have completely imperiled the company because he went and did that. That movie would not exist if not for the fact that he was skidding on very thin ice. This video is brought to you by Procopia Law, the recommended law firm of Founders Floor. The first, the first one who was the investor at Apple, Mike Markula, intentionally brought in Mike Scott to be the CEO with a mandate that Steve Jobs has to be kept in a box because he could go and blow up this entire company himself. And so there's all sorts of ways in which we have misnomers about we should celebrate him for lots of other things, but not for this piece of it. He was not rich and king throughout uh, the, even the beginning years of Apple. Bill Gates doesn't satisfy it either. Microsoft was his third company. He was not a first-time founder when he did it. He and Paul Allen, dear Paul Allen, um, they founded Trafo Data. Before they even went, they learned a bunch of things from that. They were able to go, but neither of those guys that we were using as the ones that are up on the pedestal that we all want to be like, were able to go and satisfy it. Zuckerberg definitely does. So first time founder who was going and doing it. And that is a bit of skill, a bit of luck that is all coming together into those. Um, as you go and take a look at a bunch of the things that were going on, in some ways he emphasizes how even in those glorious stories of the rare ones who get to Rich and King, there's lots of ways in which they were skating to a cliff and just pulling themselves back right before they're doing. They are also facing a bunch of pitfalls, a bunch of dilemmas. Who's, who has seen social network here? I assume this is everyone about weekly is having viewings around here on that. Why did that movie exist? Because he blew it on the equity split. He went and did a bad, and we'll get into it, I assume, I know it's yeah. one of your favorite topics, the equity split side of it. But he went and did a bad job of splitting the equity, and that could have completely imperiled the company because he went and did that. That movie would not exist if not for the fact that he was skidding on very thin ice, making a typical equity split mistake at that, pro at that point. And the fact that he survived out of it, this, the lesson that we take out of it isn't that we should go and do bad equity splits. It's that it does take a little bit of luck to be able to go and get yourself through the, the typical problems there. I would very much assume on his next company, if there's going to be one, that he's far more educated about how he's going to split the equity and a bunch of other things uh, that he took away from it. He got you know, the, the skill and luck turned into a glorious company. But there's all sorts of other ways in which it is very much a high-risk way to go if you are not informed about the road ahead and being able to go and make the better decisions there.